Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Neptune. Gather around. I have an interesting topic for us to discuss today. Oh, what's it about Sun? Well, I was thinking about black holes and how lucky we are that they don't exist in our solar system. Lucky? Why do you say that, Sun? Imagine if we had black holes hanging around here. They'd be gobbling up everything in sight. Our peaceful existence would be turned upside down. That's true. Black holes are like the ultimate vacuum cleaners of the universe. They just suck in everything, including light. I can already picture myself being pulled into a black hole. It's not a pretty sight. Yeah, and think about all the lovely satellite systems we have floating around. They'd be gone in a blink. Well, I guess it's a good thing we have you, son. You keep everything in order, holding us all in your gravitational embrace. Ah, thanks, Jupiter. But let's not forget that I'm not completely innocent. I do have some solar flares and occasional tantrums. But at least I'm not a black hole, right? True, true. We'll take the occasional solar flare over being swallowed by a black hole any day. Plus, black holes mess with the whole concept of time. Time travel would be a chaotic mess. Can you imagine tourists accidentally stumbling upon a black hole and being thrown into a time loop? They'd never make it back for their return flights. And let's not even get started on the confusion it would cause with our astrological signs. The zodiac would be a disaster. Ah, uh, you're right, Jupiter. We have people arguing about being born under the sign of the black hole instead of their usual constellations. Well, it's safe to say that we're all glad black holes are nowhere to be found in our solar system. We'll stick to our peaceful planetary orbits. Absolutely. Let's appreciate our unique quirks and differences without adding the chaotic presence of black holes into the mix. Agreed! Cheers to a black hole-free solar system and our fantastic cosmic family! Cheers! <laughs> hey, fellow planets, how's everyone doing today? Oh, you know, just orbiting along. So, Earth, what's the latest gossip from the land of presidents? How's Biden handling things? Well, Biden's been busy making moves. He's been focusing on infrastructure and tackling climate change. It's like he's trying to build the ultimate Earth 2.0 expansion pack. Ah, uh, I can picture it now. Biden with a hard hat, laying bricks on the White House lawn. He's really taking building back better seriously. Speaking of building, what about Trump? Is he still building towers and tweeting up a storm? Oh, you bet. Trump is still making waves. He's like a solar flare of attention, always grabbing headlines with his rants and rallies. It's like he's trying to make the universe great again. I have a feeling he's gonna try to start a Trump Tower, Mars edition, project soon. Can you imagine that? Red skyscrapers as far as the eye can see. Haha, ha, let's hope he doesn't take his real estate empire beyond our atmosphere. We don't need interplanetary property disputes. Well, at least the United States keeps things interesting. Politics down there always feels like a cosmic circus. You said it, Jupiter. It's like a never-ending reality TV show. Keeping up with the presidents, coming soon to a galaxy near you. Ah, the drama and comedy of politics. Remember, Earth, we're always watching from afar. Just don't let it get too out of orbit. Thanks for the reminder, son. We'll try to keep our politicians in check. After all, it's our collective responsibility to keep the universe entertained. Absolutely. And hey, if things get too chaotic, I've got plenty of room for an earthly escape on my dusty red surface. Vacation destination, anyone? Count me in. A little break from political antics sounds like a cosmic dream. Let's plan a getaway. Sounds like a plan, fellow planets. We'll take a break from politics, bask in the sun's warmth, and enjoy the wonders of our universe. Remember, laughter is the best anti-gravity device. And so, the planets shared a light-hearted moment, reminding us that humor can bridge the gaps between worlds and bring joy to the cosmos. Hey! 
Everyone, gather round. I've got some news that's got my tectonic plate shaking. The USA is going through an economic crisis. Oh, my rings, really? What's going on down there? Are they running out of dollars? Well, it's not that extreme, but they are facing some challenges. There's been a bit of a recession, and the stock market has been roller coastering like crazy. Recession, huh? Maybe they should try investing in space travel. I hear it's the next big thing. They could be the pioneers of Martian real estate. Hold your solar flares, Mars. Let's not distract them with interplanetary adventures. They need to focus on fixing their own economy first. Sun's right. But you know, I can't help but wonder if they've considered selling off naming rights to their cities. New York sponsored by Big Burger, anyone? Ha ha. I can see it now. Welcome to McDonaldsville, the city that never sleeps. It would be an out-of-this-world marketing opportunity. And instead of Wall Street, they could have Elon Musk's Martian market. I bet it would boost their economy in no time. Well, while they brainstorm ideas, maybe they should consider tapping into their renewable energy potential. Solar power could be a bright solution. Absolutely, son. They've got the resources, they just need to harness them wisely. Plus, it would give you a run for your money, Sun Solar Showdown. Earth, you always find a way to brighten our conversations. But seriously, the USA has a history of bouncing back. I'm sure they'll figure it out. You're right, Saturn. They've got resilience and innovation on their side. They'll weather the storm and come out stronger, just like they always do. Let's send them some positive Martian vibes too. We're all in this cosmic economy together. <laughs> hey guys, have you ever noticed how amazing I am? I'm the only planet with life on it. Yeah, but I'm known as the red planet. That's pretty cool, right? Sorry to break it to you, Mars, but I'm the largest planet in the solar system. Size matters. Size may matter. But have you seen my rings? I'm like the Beyonce of the solar system. But I have the most diverse range of life, from tiny bacteria to huge whales. Speaking of life, I'm the only planet that humans have sent rovers to. I'm basically a celebrity. You may have rovers, but I have the great red spot. That's like a giant storm that's been raging for centuries. I have more moons than any other planet. I'm basically the ultimate party host. But I have the most beautiful views from space. You can see all sorts of amazing things, like the Northern Lights and the Great Barrier Reef. I have the largest mountain in the solar system. Take that, Earth. I have so many moons that some of them are practically many planets. Who needs one planet when you can have 79? And I have the most unique weather, with hexagonal clouds at my North Pole. I'm like the supermodel of planets. All right, all right, you all make good points, but can we all agree that we're all pretty great in our own ways? Yeah, I guess you're right. We all have our own unique quirks and features that make us amazing. And we all have something to offer to the universe. That's what makes us so special. <laughs> so let's not argue about who's the greatest. Let's just appreciate each other and all the amazing things we bring to the table. Agreed. Here's to being the four coolest planets in the solar system. <laughs> hey guys, have you seen the moons of Saturn lately? The moons of Saturn? You mean those tiny specks of light in the sky? Yeah, they're not exactly the most exciting things to look at. Hey, speak for yourself. I think they're fascinating. I have to agree with Earth on this one. The moons of Saturn are pretty cool. Definitely! Did you know that Saturn has over 80 moons? That's right! And each one is unique in its own way! What makes them so special? Yeah, I mean, other planets have moons too. Well, the moons of Saturn are interesting because of their diversity. There's Titan, the only moon in our solar system with a substantial atmosphere. And then there's Enceladus, which has geysers spewing water into space. 
And don't forget about Mimas, with its huge impact crater that makes it look like the Death Star. Or Iapetus, which has a distinctive two-tone color. And Hyperion, which looks like a giant sponge. Each of Saturn's moons has its own story to tell, and they're all worth exploring. That's right! And who knows what other surprises we might find as we continue to study them. Maybe we should send a mission to Saturn's moons to learn more about them. Yes, that would be a great idea! And so, the planets and sun marveled at the moons of Saturn and all their unique characteristics. Even though they may appear as tiny specks of light in the sky, each moon has its own story to tell, making them all fascinating in their own way. Whether or not a mission is sent to explore Saturn's moons, the planets knew that there was still much to learn about these mysterious and intriguing satellites. <laughs>